Hey guys, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial where I show you the exact tools I use in my real estate business to execute various uh, processes within the world of real estate investing. Today is a quick podio video. I'm going to show you the power of unique IDs and calculations. It's something that would potentially be overlooked, uh, but it's something that's very important to any database you have and something that Podio accounts for nicely. So um, basically what we're gonna get into is different ways to use the unique IDs to help you manage a lot of data and to help gain some consistency with the way things are labeled in your workspace, okay? So I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna show you a, an example here of a few renters we have. And um, now this wouldn't often happen, but if you're doing this enough and uh, you have enough people coming through your system, you're going to get people with similar names or potentially the same name. And we need to differentiate them and we need to be able to keep records of everything. Now it might not just happen with people, but it could happen with properties. In fact, um, personally, I had a deal that, a uh, flip deal I did with the address of 62 Highland Avenue in a town of West Seneca in New York. And um, there's the same address in Hamburg that came up as a lead. So literally the same exact street number, same exact street, just a different town. So to differentiate, Unique IDs helped out a lot. So right here we have two renters that are similar. So if I'm gonna click on this first Toby Smith, you can see it's toby.smith at yahoo.com, 585-200, whatever. If I click on the other one, uh, he looks similar, except he's got a little bit different details. It's a different person, okay? But they're both interested in the same rental. What do we do, right? Um, so Podio allows us to account for this with a unique ID, and all we need to do is switch it on, okay? And to do that is we go to the settings of our app. Again, we're in the Renters app. And we go to um, App Settings advanced settings and it's as simple as clicking this button show unique ID click OK and I'll do a quick update and now when we click on Toby's name we show the ID at the top so there's Toby Smith 4 and Toby Smith number 2 so this one was created first obviously now this unique ID doesn't matter for you too much okay and and a lot of people ask hey can I reset the unique ID can I change it the answer is no and the answer should be no this is maintained by Podio and we as humans should have no way of changing this because honestly we'll mess it up but what we can do is we can use it to help label our items so they're easier to recognize and see. So right now, if I'm looking at this view, I still can't differentiate between the two Tobys. We're gonna change that. All right, so one other cool thing we can do with this unique ID is if we go back to the app settings and show unique ID, what I tend to do is I'll put some kind of pre, uh, prefix here. So um, in this case, we have renters, so I'll put maybe a three letter R-E-N. And then I like to have a minimum length, so um, you know, three or four, letters or characters. That way um, it ensures that everything looks consistent. It's going to be six digits every time. So I do, I'll do something like this with a lot of my apps. Click Save Changes. Okay. So now as this updates, we're going to click on this Toby Smith and you see it goes REN004. Okay, that's cool. But guess what? We still at this view here, I can't tell which one is which. So we can fix that with a calculation. This is something that I do for a ton of my apps. So let's get into any of these and let's modify the template. And we're gonna bring through a really quick calculation. And we're gonna call this calculation renter ID. And what we're gonna do is a very simple formula where we're gonna call on that unique ID and call on the renter's name and combine the two. And that's gonna be the label for the item, okay? So if we start typing at unique ID, we'll bring up that variable, unique ID, press enter. And then just some basic coding here. So we have the plus sign and then quotes to add a dash. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the dash in quotes and I'm adding to that another plus sign. I'm gonna go get the name of the renter, okay? And if I click done on that, you see that the renter's ID now comes up as REN004 Toby Smith. If I X out of this and do a quick refresh, hopefully now 
on whatever view I'm at, I can differentiate between the two Tobys. You see, they're now labeled with the unique ID. Now I didn't have to do the, the REN there, you could just use a number if you prefer that. Uh, I like seeing this because then wherever I am I know that that's a renter as opposed to a tenant as opposed to just a contact. So those help me, um, but it's up to you how you want it to display. The good news is you can change that whenever you want and you're never going to be stuck to it. Um, the number itself, that four and the two, you won't be able to change that, but you can change how it looks. You can change what letters come before it, you can change what the minimum length of the string is, etc. And, and this really helps to keep things organized. Now right here I only have three renters, so it's not that big of a deal. But imagine the system where you're going to have renters coming through, you're going to have sellers, you're going to have people that you're dealing with all the time. And to differentiate between them, this unique ID really helps to keep things organized. All right. So again, very simple calculation. If you have any questions about it, let me know and I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching this video and uh, plenty more to come from Podio. If you have any specific questions about Podio calculations, we're going to get into some Globy flow in a little bit. Any of those questions, feel free to let me know. But until then, feel free to check out all the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com. Thanks for watching.